Hello, in this video we look out the main features of the new RCF M20 digital mixer as well as covering some of the basic operating principles. The M20 is equipped with 16 microphone inputs plus 4 line inputs, 2 in the back panel and 2 at the top of the control surface through a mini jack 1 octave inch. There are 10 individual and 2 main outputs. The main analog out is replaced in the AES digital output. Using the USB, we can connect the computer and with any software, we'll work with the M20 as a 24 I.O. audio card for virtual sound check and multi-track recording. With the LAN connection, we can work with an external wireless switch to connect and control the M20 using the apps available for Android and iOS devices. Working through the apps, it is possible to manage all the parameters of the M20, as well as the physical control surface, which is provided with a 5 inches TFT touch screen with 5 physical controls to change some of the main parameters of each page. M20 is equipped with 10 plus 1 motorized fader, layered in 4 different levels. Input channels 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 4 channel related at the internal effect to turn and 4 custom assignable fader and the mix out layer where the fader represents the level of the 10 physical individual outputs. By pressing the selection button on a channel, its processing section will be displayed on the screen in 5 different pages. Input section, noise gate, equalization and compression deasser. This is the QPFL solo button and here the mute button. Pressing view, a global overview of all the M20 channel is shown, with the mute status, channel input source and level. Touching one of them will go directly in its processing page. Going to the top, we have the home button to see the metering of all inputs and outputs, and the second page with a real-time analyzer, where the spectrum of the selected channels is displayed. System button to switch among the system setting pages, as the user key for instance, with which we can assign different functions that can be recalled simply using one of the eight buttons available. Effect button, where it is possible to view and edit the four high quality internal effects. We have two reverbs, one delay and one modulation, alternately at one more delay. Play and record button, where there are the playback and recording settings. We can concurrently playback a two-track audio material and record the master outputs on one or two USB sticks using the A and B USB sockets. With the SD card, we can go with a multi-track recording and playback without connect any external computer using the SD card as an hard drive. Really useful function cause them training in this case becomes a standalone multi-track recorder. In the master section, we see the master fader and we'll send on fader the effect and individual output sends. Thanks for watching.